Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Yusuf here from Dental Reviews. I hope you're all doing well. So today on the channel, I've got another review for you. And yes, it is a, of another pair of loops. Now I know it seems like all that I'm reviewing at the moment are loops, but don't worry. I do have some other content planned for the near future. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But for the review today, we are looking at the Q-Optic loops. Now, some of you may know about them. Some of you may not know about them. When I was in the market researching loops, I'd only seen these online. I never actually saw them in person, hence why I was really excited to get my hands on these. Uh, in the video today, I'm going to discuss quite a few things and I'll go into quite a bit of detail discussing these loops. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about Q-Optics, the brand themselves. I'll talk about their distributor here in the UK, Swallow Dental. I'll discuss the design of the loops, uh, the things I liked, the things I didn't like so much, and then I will conclude. So like I said, it will be quite a long video, it will be quite in depth, and I hope it's uh, beneficial to those of you watching and for those of you in the market. If there's any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer them. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about uh, Q-Optics, the brand themselves. So they are an American company that have been around since I believe 1997, but they did trade under a different name. I think it was Quality Aspirators. And shortly after then they started making uh, dental loops. So they've been around for a long time. So that gives you that reassurance. In addition to that, it seems like they're a company that's expanding from what I understand. I think they're expanding their sort of factories or their warehouses, which is always good to know. And again, it just gives you that belief in the company that if you're going to buy them, uh, they're not gonna go bust and then you won't have any support. So they're based in Duncanville in Texas and in different countries, they may have different distributors. Here in the UK, they use a company called Swallow Dental, who I got in touch with as I was really excited to try them. And to be fair, they were really good. So they got back to me very quickly with an email response. And I think within a few days, uh, one of their reps, uh, Joe Minnie, uh, came and saw me and he knew a lot about the loops. He was very informative and we had a great chat. I think it was about probably about an hour discussing the loops themselves, the, the different options that they had. And um, yeah, he was just demonstrating them to me. Uh, it was quite interesting because uh, I'll show you later in the video, but the loops are extremely flexible, the frame and the way he was bending them, it really made me wince. I was thinking he was about to break them, particularly with these titanium frames, but uh, they don't budge at all. So again, that was reassuring. He also just dropped them off the uh, the table again i would never do that with my loops but um, obviously they didn't break so it, again it was just giving you that confidence that these are well built and designed to last so after discussing with joe uh, about the different types of loops i actually went with the traditional prismatic loops that you can see here i didn't go with the sort of trendy uh, ergonomic refractive loops as many people are nowadays and the reason why is because with Q-Optics, they, I think they're probably the most ergonomic loop on the market. And I wanted to see that, can you be okay with traditional loops, but within an ergonomic position? And I will discuss my findings with you later in the video. So make sure you stick around for that. So when it came to ordering the loops, uh, to be fair, obviously these are custom made, but they came really quickly. I think they came within three weeks or so, which is really quick considering, like I said, it's all bespoke, uh, it's all based on your individual measurements. So I was really impressed with that and I was really excited to try them. I got them delivered to the practice, so I didn't have a chance to unbox them at home and play around with them. At 8.30 on a Friday morning, I had a crown prep. So I came in a little bit early, uh, unboxed it, tried them on, you know, I had to get to work straight away. But believe it or not, I'm not joking, within maybe two to three minutes, I was sort of, you know, in the full swing of things and I managed to get on with the prep when I, I had my backup uh, oroscoptic loops in my bag just in case, you know, I didn't get on with these for whatever reason or if they were misaligned or I just couldn't get on with them. But, but thankfully I didn't need to reach out for them. I managed to do the prep, complete it, completed it in a good time. So overall, pretty happy from my initial uh, experience with them. That being said, uh, I did have to adjust because the declination angle is quite steep and I will touch on this a little bit later in the video. So I want to talk about the unboxing experience and you would have heard me speak about this in my previous videos about how much uh, the unboxing experience does matter, particularly when you're spending a lot of money on loops. With the Q-Optic loops, I was very impressed. 
So I didn't know what to expect when it comes to the packaging or the box that they come in, because from the images that you see online, there's a different type of box. I've seen some briefcases, I've seen, uh, I've seen some small boxes, but actually it seems like they've devised or they've come up with a new type of box and it looks really, really good. So it's completely bespoke and you can see that they've designed it from the loops backwards, if that makes sense. So they've thought about the loops first and how they're gonna sit in the box and then, then they've uh, subsequently designed the box. Again, I think they've done a fantastic job I really like the outer case. It's got a nice leathery feel to it. It's got a carbon fiber strip that runs along here, uh, similar to what you'll see uh, on the loops as well. It's got a really high quality zip and a leather strap that you can see here. Funny enough, I never thought I would need the leather strap, but recently I've been going to and from theaters from the changing rooms, and it's really quite helpful actually. You can just carry it, carry it here on the leather strap. So I was really happy with that, and inside, I really, really like the bespoke cutouts that you can see here. Again, it shows you that they've thought about where the loop should be, where the battery should be, the loop uh, lens cleaner, you know, really, really well thought out and well designed. So I was very happy to see this. Again, you would have seen in my previous videos that when it comes to the oroscoptic loops, you can see, in my opinion, that was something that they could have approved on to prevent damage to these loops. But with these loops, the box closes really nicely um, and passively, there's no pressure on the loop. Again, uh, what's included is you get your loops, of course, you have the battery, which is slotted nicely. You've got your lens cleaner. You also have the battery charger required to charge the battery, of course. You have another spare wire uh, for the light. Then you've got a Velcro strap, which also includes a labeled or branded microfiber cloth which is very nice and you've got a clip to adjust your wire to your clothes uh, you've got a sort of cap for the light just in case as well as a screwdriver uh, to adjust any screws on the loops and you have some spare nose pads as well which i think they're the same size i don't think they're a different size to the original loop so again really well packaged, really well designed. And in my opinion, Q-Optics get top marks for design of the loop. So well done to Q-Optics. I really appreciate the design of this. Uh, you've thought about it and I think other companies should follow suit. Okay, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about the design of these loops. I've gone for the Eclipse loop, which again, isn't the most trendiest frame that you can buy on the market. They do look like safety goggles. However, when I wanted to decide on the loop that I go for, I just wanted the most comfortable because I wanted to see which loops are the most comfortable. And to be honest, as I've got older, I've realized that I personally prefer comfort rather than fashion. Maybe you can tell. Um, but when you're wearing these for several hours a day, I just could not be bothered with any faff or discomfort or irritation to my nose, let's say. So I went with these and I have to say I was really, really impressed with them. They are super duper light, surprisingly light actually. I did not expect a prismatic loop to be this light. I don't know how they've done it, but credit to them, but it weighs next to nothing. Again, for prismatic loops, they don't weigh uh, that much. If I compare them to my oroscoptic eye zooms, they are significantly lighter. Now I thought about ways that I can show you how much lighter. Again, I'll include some footage of them on the weighing scales, but I think I'll just show you here. So you can see I've got my, my eye zooms, my trusty eye zooms, and I've got the Q optics over here. I'm just gonna put it around my pinky finger. Again, so I can obviously feel it that the eye zooms are heavier, but if I just move them around here very quickly, I'm not sure if you can see, but with the, uh, with the Q optics, they just quickly move side to side because of how light they are. There's no inertia as they're moving from side to side, whereas the eye zooms, they don't seem to move as quickly just because of the weight of them. So again, I hope that's a useful demonstration, not the most scientific, but maybe some visualization as to how light they are. So back to these, Joe was telling me that the uh, lens over here is US military grade and shatterproof. So again, you don't have to worry about these breaking, hopefully. Uh, the nose pads are really comfortable when I've had them on. So you can see here, they've come up with a new sort of neck strap design, which is different to your traditional uh, neck strap. And I do like it. It is quite beneficial. It serves as a bit of a counterweight, but in all honesty, 
it was either or for me. I was happy with either one when I had them on. But what I do appreciate is companies thinking about innovative designs to make things easy for us as a clinician. But yes, when I had these on, it was very easy to use um, and I could feel it as a bit of a counterweight and it's easy to tie at the back there and they stayed on really well. Again, super duper light. I didn't really notice these when I had them on in comparison to my previous loops. And when you've got it around your neck like this, uh, they're very comfortable. Uh, they don't, when you're walking around, they don't sort of hit on your chest. Uh, they sort of stay in place, which I really do like. And I've been using these in different environments. I've been using them in practice and I've been using them also in the hospital, going uh, to and fro, you know, like I said, the theatres or going and seeing patients in the ward. And it's been super comfortable going for long walks in the hospital. I'd have these around my neck and I didn't have any issues whatsoever. It was not an inconvenience. To be honest, I barely noticed that they were there. So I really like that about these. And the final thing I want to discuss about the design of the loop are the loops themselves. And again, I, I personally think that these are probably one of the best designed or best looking loops on the market. I really like the metallic finish and the carbon fiber pieces that they have attached to them. It looks very elegant and sleek, uh, very inconspicuous, not too bulky like other loops that we see on the market. So I really, really like the look of them. And to be honest, it didn't really affect my field of view so much. Again, these are four times magnification and I wasn't there thinking, oh gosh, I really do need uh, sort of a wider field of view. So I was pretty happy with that. Okay, so let's talk about probably the most important part of a loop and that is the quality of the prisms. And I have to say, these are top notch. Very, very clear image, no distortion, uh, no uh, blurriness around the edges from one side to another, uh, very clear. The field of view was good. The depth of field also is very good. I'll just demonstrate what the depth of field is so you can see. Again, it will vary from individual to individual, but if I just put this here, so I can, that's nice and clear. So that's probably the depth of field that I have with these loops. So pretty good, um, I think more than adequate. So you don't feel limited when you're examining patients. So that seems pretty good. So yes, overall, very happy with the quality of the loops on these, they are top tier. One of the things that is really important to me is when I look through my loops, I don't like to be surprised when I take a photograph on a macro lens. And with these, uh, there was no significant difference when I took a photo uh, assessing my work thereafter. So I was happy about that. So how's my experience been getting on day to day with these? I've been using these now for a good couple of weeks and I have to say I've had a really good experience using these. Like I said, I've been using these in different environments, in practice, uh, in hospital, in doing maxillofacial surgery, where I'll be assessing patients on the clinic, doing minor oral surgery, going in theatres and uh, going to the ward to see patients. What I really like about these loops is the versatility. What I mean by that is when you go to the ward, you can't always assess a patient looking down the barrel of the loop because of just how they're positioned. So sometimes you just need good illumination. So what's good about these is you can just look through the goggles as you normally would, like so. You can have them on, look at the patient, assess them and adjust the light and have really good illumination. Let's say you're looking at a skin graft or a laceration review or an abscess or something. You can really clearly see everything that you need to and not have to look around the barrel of the loop. So they're incredibly versatile in that sense. Again, even just discussing things with the patient, you can have them on and it's not too obstructive. So you don't have that sort of awkward interaction when you have these on. Also, in addition to that, what I found is I can take photographs on my DSLR with these on, which is really helpful because I'm sure many of you find it frustrating when you've got loops on and you're trying to take photographs and you can't see through the viewfinder. It annoyed me so much that I was really considering buying a mirrorless camera just for that one feature. I still probably will get one, but I guess this allows me to hold off for a little bit longer. Okay, so let's talk about one of the most important topics when it comes to these loops. Now with Q-Optics, as I mentioned previously, they do have probably the steepest declination angle that you can get on any loop, particularly on this frame, on this Eclipse frame. You can't get it as steep on their other more trendier frames. Now, why is that so important? Well, you heard me talk in my previous video about refractive loops and how that helps with your posture. But with these, what I found is because the declination angle is steep, you actually have your neck straight and you're looking down 
and you get a very clear image and naturally you get less neck strain and back pain. One of the main things I wanted to mention in this video is that there's a lot of talk about ergonomics at the moment and rightly so, but with these loops, when loop companies design loops as they have done here, with them being lightweight, it automatically makes a loop more ergonomic. So it sort of not necessarily negates the need for refractive loops, but it allows you to still have straight prismatic loops for those people that need them. For example, someone like me, I can't use refractive loops all the time with the variety of work that I do. So it means that for those like me, it makes it easier to do our day-to-day -day job with less neck strain and back pain as I may have been experiencing previously. So I really hope that companies in the future could sort of employ this tactic and design loops that are lighter because again, some of you watching will be sort of considering refractive loops, but you may not necessarily need them. And that leads me to my next point, which is if you're in the market for prismatic loops, I strongly advise you to check these loops out before you buy them. So whether you're in the US, you can contact Q Optics directly, or if in the UK, I strongly advise you to contact the guys at Swallow Dental. They're super helpful. They get back to you really quickly. The communication was really, really good over email. Uh, they even phoned me when the loops arrived uh, and they arrived the next day once they got them from the US. Um, there was a lady there called Rachel, super helpful. So I was really impressed with the customer service. Again, that's something which matters a lot for me as a consumer. Again, when you're, I think people forget that we're spending thousands of pounds on this product. They're not cheap at all. If you're spending that much on, let's say, a watch, or if you're spending that much on, I don't know, even cars cost that much, you want a good level of service. And Swallow Dental definitely provide that. Again, this video is not sponsored at all. There's no money exchange or anything like that. These are completely my own views. So I would strongly consider them. Uh, you can always have a consultation with them and just say, you know, Yusuf from Dental Review sent you and I'm very, very sure they will look after you just like they looked after me. One of the other things I should discuss is also the light. So they come with a single battery, which is fine. Um, me personally, I do like having two batteries just in case anything does happen. But this battery has been really good. It's lasted me over two weeks. I still haven't charged it. Again, mixed use and I am on I've got three bars left out of out of 10. Sorry, I had to count the bars there. So three bars left out of 10, which is pretty good. Like I said, over, using it for over two weeks. Uh, so that's nice. The light is strong. You can adjust the brightness level. It's very unlikely that you'll click the brightness level accidentally or change the brightness uh, in your pocket. It's got a nice big button uh, that you can press while it's in your pocket. It's easy to locate. Again, it's unlikely to, you're unlikely to press it when it's in your pocket or if it's in a box. I've had that issue with my Lumident batteries. It can be a little bit frustrating when you've got that little toggle. But yeah, these have been really good. The only thing I would say is that the wire is a little bit flimsy, it's quite thin. That could be possibly something that they could improve on. And I noticed that sometimes the light can flicker if the wire is not in properly. So again, it's unlikely, but it's just something to be aware of. However, a good design that they've incorporated is that the light is detachable from the wire. So if anything goes wrong with the wire, it's easily replaceable rather than having to order a whole new light. So again, thank you Qoptics for thinking about that. It's appreciated. One thing I also wanted to discuss is the uh, light filter, the composite light filter. Now it's got a bit of a handle that you can see here that you can toggle up and down. Uh, you can do it with your finger because I usually use my finger. Personally, I prefer the swivel that I previously had with the Lumident light, but this is not so bad. I think you can get used to this and it's probably more easy to replace. Okay, so what's my final verdict when it comes to these Q-Optic loops? Should you avoid them? Should you shortlist them? Should you buy them? In my opinion, these loops should be strongly considered. The reason why I say that is because I'm actually pretty sad I didn't know about these loops earlier on. I just don't think they're advertised as well in the UK as they could be. Uh, I didn't see them at many dental fair shows or anything like that, but I wish I did because it may have influenced my decision. Like I said, they're super light, really ergonomic, really comfortable, uh, good customer service from the guys at Solo Dental and Q-Optics. I think you have 45 days to return them if you're not happy or for them to change the declination angle. And 
with regards to the declination angle, that is something to discuss with them as well. I don't, this is, I have quite a steep declination angle on these, but I don't think that's necessarily required for everyone. Even if these were slightly straighter, I still think that would be ergonomic in my opinion. Uh, and also if you're somebody that suffers from eye strain already, uh, maybe you don't need a steep declination angle because when you first get these uh, and you put them on, it is a bit of a surprise how low down you have to look to see clearly. But again, uh, you can always discuss that. And each loop is custom fit. They take a photo of you from the side and they'll decide which angle to set it at, which again adds to the custom fit of these loops. So that's my review of these Q-Optic loops. Very, very good. I think they're underrated, low key. I don't think as many people know about them as they should do. But like I said, if you're in the market for them, make sure you check them out before you buy your next pair of loops. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the review. If you have any questions, as always, drop them in the comments below. I'll try my best to answer them. If it's been beneficial, I'd appreciate if you could subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Who knows, maybe it won't be a video about loops. Anyway, keep enjoying the profession and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.